does your Wi-Fi work properly? Okay, I'm just gonna go live so I could explain something even though I really do not have to explain myself. And even though I have the right to wear my tags on my clothes, I'm just gonna explain this once really nicely for those in the comments that are saying it looked like I did steal. Hi everybody, I'm just going live just to explain something once because it's just too much to type. And uh, first of all, I'll explain the situation to you guys once and show you exactly how it went down. And <sighs> I'm still a little nervous and shaken up. I'm still very angry. I woke up still very angry. The whole point is I went into Old Navy because the previous day, my daughter and myself, we bought over $200 worth of merchandise. The problem is, is that one, I bought three sandals and one of the sandals that I picked up, I picked up, I accidentally picked up a size 10 instead of um, a size nine. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go to the Old Navy in square one, which is closer to where I live and exchange it. No problem. My issue is the problem I have is that I love Old Navy and everybody who shops there knows like when you shop a certain amount of money you um automatically get an email saying you know your next um your next visit you can get a certain amount of money off so i said let me look in here because if i'm gonna buy anything and i'm gonna get 20 percent off it's better to just buy um whatever it is that i want from now and get the 25 percent off because i'm a frugal frugal shopper secondly the reason why I kept the tags on my Old Navy top is because of employees, ignorant, dumbass employees like Stephanie. Because everybody who shops at Old Navy also knows you can buy a jeans and a shirt today for $60 and tomorrow it goes 50% off. But normally you're only supposed to bring the receipt in and then they automatically discount your receipt. But because of stupid, ignorant, ignorant employees like Stephanie, sometimes you just bring your stuff in the bag instead of them telling you, you know to go around the store and look for the same item and stuff like that instead of just discounting you right away because some employees like stephanie are dumb and they don't know the policy and then they want you to go around and get the stuff and all that stuff and you don't want to go through the hassle so you just bring back the stuff worn they know it's worn and everything they just are wanting the price tags to give you the discount and that's why I keep the price tags on clothes like old navy zara any any place where i know if i shop here today and buy it for full price and i can get half price off tomorrow ha if it so happens to go on sale i'll keep the price tag on so the thing is is that i went in there i said okay since i have 20 percent off let me go around and shop i seen a white dress two skirts and a couple other things i liked i went i tried it on but as soon as i came out the train room i started to feel the profiling started and I didn't understand what was going on. I even went in the line and I was about to purchase my items. But because of the way I felt, I said, you know what? I don't need a shop here. I could simply just go back to Yorkdale, bring my there and get my dress there. Right. Especially because I was working in Toronto that day. So I came out the line. I confronted a store employee. I said, you know what, miss? I don't know what's going on in here. But I feel very profiled in this store. And you know what? I don't have to shop here. I could go to Yorkdale. She started saying, oh, no, we're not profiling you. We're not profiling you. You see, at that moment, had she said, oh, Alicia, there, there's a tag on your shirt and asked me for my receipt at that moment, I would have understood it was a misunderstanding and I would have been happy to clear that up. I would have been happy to show my receipt. But no, she denied it. I went like this. See? That's how the tag showed. This me. See, I even bought my top here. That's how the tag showed. I was the one that popped the tag by accident. I didn't even re remember that my tag was there. So at that point, I realized there could have been a misunderstanding. There could my pet tag could have been being shown through my shirt. How? I don't know. I have long hair. I don't know how it would have shown, but. I expressed my concern to her before I left the store. Then I left the store. You know, my daughter was the one that pointed out to me. If anybody goes to square one and they know where Old Navy is at the, the Forever 21 entrance, you know that Browns and Sephora and, and uh, Mac is five minutes away, walk away from square one. I mean, from Old Navy. 
I went to Browns because I was wearing Vans and I and I really love the Vans so I just said to myself you know what? I'm gonna go buy a second one then I went I w went to Browns I see this come up to me she didn't say miss there with a misunderstanding you have a a tag in your shirt do you have a um do you have a receipt she didn't say that she came up to me she goes we seen you come into the store with another top on and you left with that top on that's what she said to me we seen it on camera i said what that's what she said to me then after that I, I laughed it off and I still went about my way and I went to ask the um, lady on you know what do you have that the, the cushy vans in here blah 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 she said no then I seen the security come you know what pissed me off t t today I'm a little bit more pissed off at the security because I gave it to them yesterday but the point is is that Stephanie had no right even if I were a th thief even if I were a thief which I was not Stephanie had no right to put her hands on me. And coming from where I'm from, I'm a I'm a I'm a woman. You put your hands on me, that that means that's a that means we're gonna fight. It took everything inside of me, knowing my past and where I came from. It took everything inside of me not to hack, spit in Stephanie's face and out of her. Everything. And that's why I was shaking. She's like, oh, why are you shaking? I'm shaking because I'm trying my hardest not to go back to jail for you. That's why. Anyways, the whole point is, is I offered to go back to the store with them at this point. I told Jillian, I feel so bad for Jillian because Jillian really didn't have anything to do with it. Jillian was kind of mortified. I told Jillian what happened and whatever the case is. And then after that, you know, she apologized. They asked her my number and whatever. I, I didn't want to give them my number because I know my rights. I'm, I'm actually like, you know, these ambulance... Um, chaser lawyers are already in my inbox asking me if I want a case. It has nothing to do with a case for me. It has to do about my, my civil rights. Everybody knows that I'm big on this. And you know what hurts me the most? What hurts me the most is people do not have a voice without social media. If it were not for social media, I would have seen absolutely no justice. So that's why I did not give her my receipt. That was three minutes later after accusing me of stealing a 13, after my super cash, that top came up to about $13. It took minute after all that. That's when she asked me for my receipt. Listen, I know my rights. I have a right to wear my tags on my clothes, showing or not showing. And I did not, it was not showing. I didn't go in there to provoke them. I went in there to exchange my, my sh And the one thing that really bothers me is so, the only way people have a voice, the only way somebody could get canceled, the only way we could get any sort of justice is through, is through social media. You think Angus would be calling me back right now? Angus called me back. She said they're receiving threats people are planning protests and um all this stuff and she's come back to apologize for me she called me two times so uh, sorry stephanie i do not feel sorry for you receiving threat that's how i felt when you held hell onto my hand that felt like a direct threat or a direct threat of me going to jail because honestly i i i don't know what held me for not going after this for 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 you know not I'm so mad but the whole point this is what happened guys I you know I'm sorry for taking up everybody's time the whole point of the matter is I was not in the wrong at all even if I were a criminal even if I were stealing she had no right to put her hand on me but I was not stealing I went to go exchange merchandise I felt profiled I voiced my opinion about feeling profiled before I left the store that that point that's when they should have talked to me and said you know there could have been a misunderstanding I was the one that went like this at that point that's when my tag popped out I left the store five minutes later they they found me then Stephanie put her hands on me, not the security, which it's the security's job to, to, to say, Alicia, let's go back to the store. They didn't. And, you know, that's exactly what happened. Jillian apologized. The district store manager called me, apologized two times. Square One reached out to me. American um, Client Services reached out to me. But I'm going to be filing a, compl a complaint with the Human Rights Tribunal of Canada. And this is not going to go away, guys. It's not going to go away. Not so easy. They 
f***ed with the wrong person. They f***ed with the wrong person. I have a feeling that I was chosen for this f***ing assignment. And you know what? I'm gonna f***ing get them. Anyways, guys, have a good day. I'll keep you posted. Bye.